In 2024, the Ironman Hall of Fame welcomes two icons of the sport, Kathleen McCartney and Fernanda Keller. The sun has barely touched the horizon as 850 athletes go through their final mental and mechanical preparations. Each athlete must be physically able to swim 2.4 miles in the ocean, then ride a bike for 112 more miles, and finally run a marathon 26.2 miles. Kathleen McCartney's journey to the Ironman Hall of Fame began in 1982, when the 22-year-old UC Irvine college student made her first appearance at the Ironman World Championship. This is Julie Moss, leading throughout most of the marathon. McCartney famously passed a crawling Julie Moss in the final 10 yards to capture the title. And even in losing, there was victory for Julie Moss. And forever link the two in one of the most defining moments of Ironman's history and for women's sport. She would lace up the shoes again in 2012 to compete in the 30th anniversary of that defining race. A coach, a mentor, a champion. For the past five decades, Kathleen McCartney has been an ambassador on so many levels for our sport of Ironman. That defining moment opened up Ironman to every corner of the globe, including Brazil, one year after McCartney's iconic victory, a 20-year-old Fernanda Keller was set to participate in her very first triathlon in Rio de Janeiro. It would embark the young Brazilian onto a career like no other. Keller would become the first Brazilian woman to compete and podium at the Ironman World Championship. As a professional from 1994 to 2000, she would capture third a total of six times in seven years on the Big Island of Hawaii, eventually wrapping up her professional career with 14 top 10 Ironman World Championship finishes. But she was far from done. Keller would complete the Ironman World Championship an astounding 27 times, including 23 consecutive years. An advocate for mental health through sport, the five-time Ironman Brazil champion founded Instituto Fernanda Keller, which focuses on serving adolescents from low-income families through education and physical activity in her country. It celebrates its 25th year of operation in 2024. Fernanda Keller and Kathleen McCartney, their impact on Ironman and women's sport continues to this day as we welcome them to the Ironman Hall of Fame.